Hi everybody, it's your Pilates instructor Alana and I'm back with another exercise tutorial. So I'm on my reformer and we are doing our teaser today. We're doing it a few different ways. So I wanna show you an introductory version to teaser and then your full teaser. So what do I mean by an introductory version? Let's say you're teaching this for the very first time and you've taught somebody teaser on the mat before and they have it in their body, they understand it, Maybe you've taught teaser on your Cadillac with a top loaded spring using the push through bar and they get that and they understand that. So they understand the lift. And now you're teaching it on the reformer, which has tension coming from behind. So they're going to have to use that upper stomach just a little more to curl up. So if this is still a challenge, which it kind of always is forever a challenge, and you want to break it down a little bit, I'm going to show you a modified version that I learned from one of my teachers that I think is just invaluable. So I definitely didn't make this up. I cannot take credit for it. But in your reformer order, this would come after your backstroke. So just assume if we're modifying the teaser or we're taking just a little of the components away, chances are you're going to have to place your handles down, sit on up. So that's where we are. So I've got a single spring on and I'm on a Graz reformer. All of the springs are the same. So chances are you're going to be working with either a medium to a heavy spring. Okay, so we're going to take a seat at the top of our box and I want you to actually take your feet onto your foot bar here. So here I am. I'm perched at the front of my carriage, just how I would be typically. And I'm going to lift my chest here. My arms are back, and now all I want to do is roll back a little bit, press my arms forward, find the tension here, and now keep the tension, float my legs up. Float them up where they can go, and then keep that. You pull your waist back, you reach your arms forward, and then let your arms come down. Keep tension in the straps the entire time, and down, and do one more. Pull the waist back before those arms even move and keep reaching into the spring as the arms come down. Take the feet down and sit on up. Okay, that's version one. So you could do that three times. You could do three sets of three. Option two, you get into it the same way. You pull the waist back, float the legs up, reach the arms forward. Now keep it here, just straighten the legs. Find the scoop, reach those arms and down and reach the arms and down. And one more. Reach the arms and down, bend, and feet come down. Okay, you did that. Now let's go for the full version. Let's assume you've done that, you feel good, you're ready to move on. So segmenting the move it, movement here. Reach the legs, find tension in the springs, reach those arms forward, chin to your chest. Try to keep the toes and the eyes at the same level and then keep reaching the toes forward and reach the arms and reach. And let's do one more and reach. Now push those knuckles away and drag your waist down, drag your waist down, drag your waist down and everything goes down and right back up, roll up. And you can keep going with the arms that same way or you can go for circles here, reach forward and around and just keep lifting your chest. Keep lifting your chest, hold it, and then drag it down, drag it down, drag it down, and let's take the arms to the side now. So you roll up, arms reach, and open to the side, and open to the side, and one more, up, and then roll it down. Okay, so that's your teaser done a few ways. So focus on finding the stability in the stomach. So break the movement down. There's so many ways to um, find the same benefits of this exercise in a deconstructed pattern. So once somebody feels comfortable, it's a scary exercise. You can progress by maybe straightening the legs. Okay, that feels good, then go for the full interpretation. But this is a really nice way to introduce it in a group class setting where you could have varied levels and you just want everybody to be able to pick something that feels right for them. 
But the things that I am always cueing and always thinking myself are with my arms, my arms are staying straight. So the moment you lose tension in your arms, the carriage is kind of jump a little bit, which throws you out of your powerhouse. So keep those arms locked, but those arms are locked into your stomach. So it's always this first. And then keep your chest up, really lift your chest. As soon as you lift your chest, you're gonna find more length in your back, which is what we want. And as we roll forward and up, try to keep the tension in the arms and try to keep your toes at eye level. So notice if you feel like you're flinging your arms up first or you're flinging your legs up first, everything comes up together at the same time. All right, that's your teaser. If you have any questions on that, leave a comment below. Fabulous, fabulous exercise. And there are always so many ways to improve it. So keep going. If it's challenging for you, it just gets better. All right, everybody, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful time doing Pilates. Bye.